If you have been following my series on stolen images, you will know that I use Google Reverse Image Search quite a lot. If you have not seen that series, you can catch it here. A number of people have requested a brief guide on using Google's Reverse Image Search, and so here it is. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you found this video interesting or educational. Let's start by looking at what it does. As we know, Google is by far the world's largest search engine. As it trawls its vast nets across the web, it indexes hundreds of millions of images. Google has algorithms that can compare an image that you upload to all the images in its index and show you the matches. Let's look at how to do that. Open Google. It doesn't matter if it's the global site or your local version. Look at the top right of the page and you'll see a link to images. Click on that. The next screen looks very similar to the Google Home screen, except that you can see that in the search bar is a camera icon. If we were to simply type into the search bar, Google will show us images based on our search. However, the important part for us photographers is that camera icon. Click on it and you will see two tabs, Paste Image Url and Upload an Image. If you paste a link into it, Google will look at the images on that page and attempt to match them on other sites. However, it will only be able to do this if it finds images that are on a page as JPEG files and that are not copy protected. It's very limited in its scope and virtually useless on social media sites. Returning to the main Google Images, the second option of upload an image is by far the most important and useful for us photographers. Let's have a look at this. Simply click on the Choose file and your Finder or Explorer will open. Navigate to the image that you wish to search and click on Choose. Google will now try to identify what's in the image, as can be seen at the top here. It will show visually similar images, which is useful photographers researching what to shoot. And lastly, by scrolling down, we can see all the pages where Google has matched the image. As you can see, this particular image has been used hundreds of times. What's important to note is Google has no idea if the image is being used legally or illegally. It merely shows where it's being used. It's also important to note that Google does not find all versions of the image that are online, only the ones that its search engine has found and indexed. Google Reverse Image Search is a useful tool for finding the use of individual images, but it has no batch capabilities and it gives very little details of the usage. However, if you do find some of your images being used extensively, it's well worth turning to one of the new breed of copyright enforcement agencies to track down the use of them. These agencies have the ability to batch reverse image search. Although that search is not instant, it does mean you can upload hundreds of images and monitor their use across the internet and, if necessary, get compensation for illegal use. In the last video on our Stolen Images series, we will look in detail at some of these copyright protection websites, so look out for that soon. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to give us a like and a subscribe. If you have photographer friends that might find this video useful, feel free to share it with them. See you again soon.